Yo, did you know that Air Force One was the first Nike sneaker to actually get retroed? And that was way back in 1986. And technically, I guess they're still retroing it. I'm Jacques Slade, and this is the Heat Check. This week we're taking it light just to start off the show with a pretty unique look at the Air Force One Low. Nike is officially calling it the Camo Reflective and that name pretty much describes the shoe perfectly. The upper is camo and the shoe has a reflective finish. Those will cost you even $100 and they're available right now. Jumping to tomorrow, Nike Sportswear has a little something for the ladies with a special makeup for the Nike Hirachi Run. It has an almost iridescent look to the overlays, but the official name to the color is Metallic Hematite. It actually looks pretty dope with that white midsole, and those will cost you $120 over at Finish Line. Also dropping on Friday is a very clean pair of fly knit racers. Most people are calling them pure platinum based on the color code, but Nike is taking their own lane with these and calling them earth tones. There is a bit of olive green on that Nike swoosh, so technically that is an earth tone. Those are going to be available as well tomorrow, and you can grab those for $150. If you're one of the self-proclaimed Boost Boys, you are in luck as Adidas has two pairs of Boost dropping on Friday as well. Both pairs are from the Pure Boost family and the actual model is called the Adidas Day One. These will be dropping in both a core black and an olive colorway and are a nice departure from the normally hyped Boost Kicks. You can look for those to cost you $180. Jumping to Saturday is when the fun really begins, especially if you are a grade school size. Nike Sportswear is dropping a little posit for Halloween that is complete with decorations of jack-o'-lanterns on the heel. Those will cost you $180. For you big ballers, Nike Basketball is bringing the LeBron Soldier 10 to life in the colors of Christ the King. That team red and metallic gold look really great on the upper. Those will cost you $130 over at Finish Line, which isn't a bad price at all. Taking the spot as the new silhouette this weekend is Jordan Brand with the Westbrook 0.2 or 0.2. These are 100% lifestyle with the added benefit of the Jordan 1 outsole and that Jordan 7 inspiration at the toe. The camo doesn't hurt either. Uh, you can pick those up for $140. And keeping that $140 price point in mind, Puma returns with a fall ready colorway of the Fenty Creeper. These have been selling like crazy and you can grab a pair of these this Saturday over at Finish Line. Of course, one of the bigger releases of the weekend is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 750 Chocolate. As you can imagine, these are going to go really, really fast, so make sure you are on it if you want a pair. They're probably my favorite Adidas Yeezy shoes that have released so far. Those will cost you $350. And for that slight luxury feel for the weekend, it's coming courtesy of Jordan Brand with the Jordan 3 Cyber Monday, or Premium Icon as they're officially calling it. From what I have heard, the leather on these is really nice, and that simple colorway makes them easy to rock this fall season. You can grab those over at finish line for $190 on Saturday. Whether you're here for the hype, for basketball, or for the kids, you can get it all this weekend. Be sure to check below for links to all the shoes that I talked about in the video today, and be sure to hit that like button and share the news. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. All right, I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past, but is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 